stepping out in front of the European Climate Exchange to highlight carbon trading as a non-solution to climate change. Carbon trading has not and will not lower net carbon emissions and so we're here today to say that the only way to start climate change is to leave fossil fuels in the ground. and vibrant people on Bishopsgate who have just completely taken over this space and made it theirs and made it this incredible festival um, of, of like loud voices like calling for what we as a society and communities need to see which is less emphasis on profit and the decisions of, um, of important powerful figures and more about what we need and what we want to see and if you just look around like it's absolutely beautiful everyone's having a party and this is what like direct action and protest can be about like people having an amazing time together and forming these spontaneous communities in the street that we want to see everywhere all the time so i'm pretty excited about what's happening today and i hope a lot more people are going to get a lot more excited about doing things like this Food made by somebody, and it's got no animal in it. There's no animal in this food. It's animal friendly, and that's what we need. We need a world which is animal friendly, which doesn't hurt any animals, and it doesn't hurt any human beings. And you know something? We are going to make this world. I think this is showing like another world is possible, and it's about sharing. Just people keeping things for themselves. Uh, symbolic flapjack, I guess. And it's a way to start conversations with people. I've spoken to bankers and suits and people out here on their lunch break, and it's a way of saying, we don't, well, I don't think you're the enemy, and let's have a conversation and then maybe break down some of their preconceptions about the activists. Thank you so much. Oh, I need. Thank you. Money. I'd like some more! I'm here from the Royal Bank of Satan making a representation. So bring it on! Please. How are you contributing to changing our climate? And, um... Well, I reckon sort out your own backyard. If everyone sorted out their own backyard first, then that would make a start, you know, because things aren't going to change overnight, but we need to have a, quite a lot of patience. But if you look back 20 years, it's all, we've already come a little quite, quite a way forward. And I think that, you know, things are speeding up, but we, we really do need to, have to speed up the process of consciousness right now and be much more mindful about what we do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, just one more time for one good sign. I'm supposed to be Sagittarius, but that's not divine. It's a fire sign burning things. But you could burn me rather than fuel or oil. At the same time, I'll probably create more. My own mind, you could use water as a catalyst in your catalytic converter. I'll still inject your blood clouds coming from the sky. Before you know it, with this kind of occupation, we'll die. When That's why we need to step lines. on top, take control. It's the people, one world, one planet, one peace, one soul. goal. Simple as that. We just unite under the soul. Yo, Spirit and your soul, bro. This is how destiny. we go in London. G20, yo, they just plunge it down the same path as ever before. Trying to keep people so rich, we don't have to go. The fact is, we need to unify as one planet, one goal, one soul. Thing is that actually it's going to be the poorest countries in the world that are going to be affected by climate change. So in fact it's not, I mean yes, here are white middle class people, but we're the ones that have A, created the problem, and B, not going to feel the problem until way, way generations. So really, I mean I think it's an interesting question, how do you articulate that fact? I think, I don't know, I just think you have to keep on going, you have to keep out going onto the streets. Every movement needs a front line, it's true. the police oh, from pushing us all back and I just got a truncheon in the face. 
I live in Islington, I go to Cambridge University. I've been here because of climate change, because I feel strongly about certain issues. We're here as a people protest, and suddenly there's, what, a hundred riot police, something like that, shoving shields in our faces and hitting us with truncheons. And to be honest, I don't think that that's how a democratic society works.